been moving so slowly. Uh, one of the worst kinds, right Dylan? Yeah, that's right. Uh, those slow moving tropical systems around here, as you know, historically usually cause the biggest problems. Florence comes to mind and I could I could name a whole list. Uh, as of the 11 o'clock advisory, Tropical Storm Debbie is moving east at five miles per hour. It sped up a little bit since the last advisory. It was moving at three miles per hour. Now it's moving east at five. I know not a whole lot of difference. It's still crawling, but it's off the coast. Now the center is back over those open warm Gulf Stream waters of the Atlantic. Uh, it looks pretty raggedy on radar uh, this after or this evening. I should say uh, that's because the system's ingesting a little bit of dry air near the center of circulation. Now it will likely uh, fight this off and overcome the dry air, but it may limit strengthening at least in the short term, and it may eat into the rainfall totals in eastern North Carolina a little bit, which would be good news for them. But we have seen some shifts in the track uh, today and especially over the last 12 hours. This is the latest cone. It's expected to turn northward by Thursday morning and make landfall again somewhere near Charleston uh, and Myrtle Beach right on the South Carolina coast there from there through Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. It's moving northward into the North Carolina Piedmont coming a little bit closer to the triad area, likely the center tracking somewhere along I 74 near Ashboro and up to Greensboro. Uh, I say that the center will be somewhere in our area, but the impacts will still be far reaching. Uh, so it's not necessarily so important to get caught up with where the center is going. It's more of the impacts of what we can expect, and there's still plenty of rain to come from Debbie. This is, these are some possible totals on top of what uh, we've already seen. The beach has already gotten five to six inches. They could get another five to eight inches on top of that. Now here at home, because the center is tracking a little bit closer to our area, that means we could see some more wind. And we could also see some more rain from Debbie, so I've bumped up our rainfall totals just a bit. I'm now expecting three to six inches across our area. I wouldn't take these numbers uh, uh, verbatim, right? This is just one model's depiction of what may happen, but I think three to six inches is a good estimate across the area. Of course, with how wet it's been recently, we just came off the fourth wettest July on record. We're going to have some issues with flash flooding, especially by Thursday. Once Debbie starts to lift northward into our area, this pink color here. Some of you may have never seen this on our graphic system before. This is a high level four out of four risk of flash flooding on Thursday. Uh, I don't mean to get all doom and gloom, but when uh, these are issued, it likely means that there's going to be some problems with flooding in that zone, and we all have that elevated risk of flash flooding on Thursday, so it's just something to be aware of. Our risk is much higher than normal for flash flooding. Uh, our counties along and east of I-77, so part of the foothills, uh, Surrey, Yadkin and Davie off to the east, including the triad, have a flood watch until Thursday evening once Debbie moves out of here. So let me show you what to expect. Tomorrow uh, there will likely be some tropical downpours and a few showers similar to what we saw today, but tomorrow is not the big impact day. That's Thursday. Things start to go downhill overnight and into Thursday morning, the Thursday morning commute looks pretty rough with uh, lots of heavy rain and wind uh, as that main shield of rain and wind from Debbie moves through and then by Friday afternoon we should start to see some improving weather. So the greatest impacts for us will come Wednesday night to Friday morning. I'm expecting three to six inches of rain. Some higher totals are possible. A significant flash flood risk in the Piedmont Triad. 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts uh, could come through and cause some power outages too. So Thursday is a weather alert day. We don't issue those too often. Stay aware. Stay with WXII 12. Really nice weather. Completely flipping the script by early next week. Sunshine and highs in the 80s.